Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today it is time to start playing Hogwarts Legacy. In my last video we did unbox the collector's edition of Hogwarts Legacy so if you did miss that don't forget to go check it out before you watch this. But I am very excited because I'm going to start my very own Legacy all of the magical adventures. So if you want to come along with me on that journey, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome to Hogwarts Legacy episode one. I've just booted up the game. I'm very excited. This is my first time playing it. I've just linked my Warner Brother Games account with the Harry Potter fan club. So this is what we're met with. So it says, congratulations. You've linked it, so my house is Gryffindor, and I've got my very own personal wand in this game, so I'm really excited about that. But let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy time is here, okay. Oh, yes, these are all of my rewards that came with the Collector's Edition, all of the codes that I've put in. Oh my god, the time has come for my very own Hogwarts acceptance letter. It may be a few years late, but it's okay. Maybe my owl was just... <laughs> Maybe it got lost. Okay, let's read this then. So it says, We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Okay, so we're not starting as a first year. That's interesting. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of Tom Feast and the sorting ceremony. Okay. And that's from Professor Weasley. Weasley. Okay. Let's start. <laughs> okay. This is probably the part that I'm perhaps most interested in, which is character creation. So we do have all of these kind of starter characters over here so this is kind of like our base character which we can then go on to customize so the one that i'm probably gonna pick for me let's have a look at some of these oh she's cute oh she looks like a weasley to be fair what are the ones that i'm most drawn to i mean she's kind of cute too very cool indeed okay i think i'm Oh, I kind of like that character too. I'm going to start with this character and then, okay, so here we get to choose face shape, skin color and glasses. Okay, so this is kind of useful because I can see my face shape right now and I've got quite a, a round face but long-ish so it definitely needs to change from the one that we've selected already. I mean, that's a pretty good pick already, <laughs> but let's just have a look at some of the options. Though that could maybe work. What do you guys think? Okay, I think I am going to go with that choice. Next up is skin colour, and I'm pleased to see that there are many options, just to show you um, the scale here. And then obviously I'm going to go far this end of the scale because I am pasty white and I look like a vampire most of the time. Okay, so I think that's a great start. Next up is glasses. So we're currently on the non-selection right now. We've got <laughs> some that look like Potter's glasses. Do I do that? Half moons, those are cool. Or we've got just a different shape okay do we go for non-glasses i think i'm personally gonna go for the half moons because i don't want to be harry potter this is my legacy that i'm about to begin so i'm gonna go with some half moons i think they're pretty jazzy hairstyles okay i'm gonna go with the style first and then we'll pick the color afterwards so let me just have a look at the options so these are all the ones you can get let's have a look at this one oh that's nice I do like that. 
about one of these. Ooh, a fishtail braid. I'm digging it. I am digging it. We've got some here with bangs. Um, oh, I do like the updos. There's this one as well. I mean, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's got a cute little vintage button. Is that the Hogwarts crest or is it just a random? Either way, that is cute. Oh, I am tempted. I'm tempted by that one. Let's keep having a little browse. <gasps> I know that's like the first option, but I do really like that hairstyle. <laughs> I've currently got my hair in plaits today, but I don't think there are many plait options. This one's giving Hermione vibes. <laughs> <laughs> this one I don't even know what those vibes are but that is definitely not for me let's have a look at some more of these updos we've got a classic bun we've got a larger messy bun okay I think it's between this one and this one just because I can't wear my hair that beautiful in real life I think I might choose this one maybe but then if we're going to be doing loads of magic Maybe I want... No. I'm going with the jazzy vintage button. Let's do it. Right. Hair colour next then. So let's have a look. We've got from the darkest shades, black hair. We've got grey hair. Light grey. Ooh, white. That's quite cool. And then it goes into your browns and all of that. I think there... Is there going to be... Oh, navy blue. We've got some teal. Purple. Oh, I could, I could channel my inner tonks, couldn't I? That is quite tempting. We've got this nice mockery pink colour. We've got red, more pinks. Okay, I think I'm going to remain true to myself as much as I really love that purple. And in another lifetime, I probably would have picked that. I'm going to try and pick the hair colour that's closest to mine now, which I do believe is this colour here. Okay, let's move on then. We're going to be moving on to freckle. Oh, complexion. So freckles, moles. Um, and complexion and then scars and markings okay let's have a look at the complexion options then so these are quite subtle changes so I think these are like eye, eye dark eye circles and then some more subtle ones we've got slightly more tanned I think sun kissed um, quite like this one because it's almost like blush oh okay so it's like very subtle makeup. I think I am going to go for this one where it's a little bit flushed on the cheeks. It's got a little bit of sun kiss on the nose because that's kind of what I do with my makeup anyway. Uh, then we've got freckles and moles. So let's take a quick look through the options here. So we've got some very subtle freckles which go over the nose bridge, which I'm vibing with. I do faux freckles quite often. We've got some more freckles, even more intense freckles sporadic ones we've got some beauty marks there's one by the eye there above the brow down there okay well I think that's a fairly easy choice for me I'm going to go with the freckles over the bridge of the nose let's take a look at some of these scars and markings Ooh, see that's interesting because you can tell that that scar has been created by magic just with the shapes of it which is pretty cool we've got some over the nose some that are almost like werewolf attacks I don't think I want any scars for now but let's move on because we get to go over to eyes and eyebrows. <gasps> okay, eye colour. My eyes are naturally hazel, but let's take a look at some of the different options. Oh, those are nice. I mean, those are a bit like pinky, but also hazily. We've got some purple, green. Honestly, there are so... Oh, yes, nice. I'm like, do I go with what's true to me and go with hazel or do I go with a really fun colour? Oh my god, I wish my eyes were that colour. Anyone that's watching with blue eyes, how does it feel to be God's favourite? See, these are quite nice. So I think it might be between those ones and slightly pink here. Oh, I'm going to channel my inner magic and go with those. <laughs> okay, let's go look at the eyebrow shape first before we get into the colour because I'm pretty happy with the colour already um because they match my hair but let's have a little browse <laughs> a browse at the brows <laughs> we could go for some shaved brow remember when everyone used to do that like in school they would shave the brow to look like really cool i'm so glad i did not choose to do that oh a slightly fuller darker brow maybe is that the arch that i want though is there a different arch mm. 
yeah these are the ones guys okay next up is eyebrow color i will just have a quick flick through the mm, actually no that one matches better doesn't it <gasps> i spoke too soon we could have some purple brows or some pink brows <laughs> um i think that one matches really nicely okay we're done let's move on to the next stage <gasps> okay so this is where we get to customize our character even more so we get to choose the voice tone as well as the voice pitch so let's just listen to voice number one a few cobwebs and some dust nothing to be concerned about okay and then voice two i'm eager to get to hogsmeade that's definitely more my vibe so then we can change the pitch so we've got, got i'm guessing lower pitch is going to be down here it was wonderful. I believe yeah. I'm really going to enjoy this class. Okay. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That one's giving Emma Watson vibes. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I'm vibing with that one. That was quite something. Not so much that one. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, I do kind of like that one. Okay, I'm going to stick with that one. Next up, we get to select our difficulty so that we have got story, which is a focus on story with minimal gameplay challenge. We've got easy, which is a light gameplay challenge. Normal for a balanced gameplay and hard for a demanding gameplay. I'm sure a lot of you are hoping that I'll pick hard, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it on normal because this is my first time playing it. Next, I'm going to name my characters and I am going to go ahead and name it after myself so for those that are, you, are new here my name is cherry nice to meet you if you're new make sure you subscribe if you haven't already okay and my last name is wallace not the same spelling as wallace and gromit sadly okay there we have it now this is cool because you get to pick what dormitory you're in so you can be in the witch's dorm or the wizard's dorm I personally am going to stick with which. Oh, okay, this is where our legacy begins. My journey is about to start. Mm, okay, okay, let's go. Ah! Look at the carriage and the owl and all oh, of the luggage. It appears we are almost ready to depart. I'm ready. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Absolutely. Uh, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. <gasps> Thank you, Ollivander. I appreciate you working with me. Oh, hello, apparition. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar, George. <laughs> Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatre goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting yes. ceremony to get to. Wonderful feast! Idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. He's hey, giving me weird vibes, George. Castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Pile of rocks. <laughs> oh, he's, he's shady, right? Are we agreed that he's a bit shady? Telling me suspicious. Oh, we're going! Thestrals must be driving this carriage, but I can't see them yet because I've not seen death. <gasps> okay. I'm liking Elazar Fig thus far, though. Here's the intro. I love magical music. And it's remaining true to the Wisdom World vibes, which is what we like. Avalanche, who have made this game. Kudos. Oh, isn't it such... Oh, it just takes you straight into the Wisdom World, the, the soundtrack. I hope they put these soundtracks on, like, Spotify or something. All right, here we are. How are these books not falling off? 
Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? It's me. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. <laughs> of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. We love Mr. to hear Osbrick it. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Hmm, ministry business. Seen this? <gasps> Daily Prophet. Ranrock's I Goblin Rebellion. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues that the ministry... That's a dragon wing, right? ...is a significant threat. That's got to be a dragon and wing. it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. Oh, he must Wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. Ooh, it was the last pretty. Thing she that is the Hogwarts me, legacy Lazar. symbol. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. Okay. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see oh. a glow. Is it because I'm no. super magical? It is because I'm super magical. I'm, I've got the gift, guys. This is off to a good start. <gasps> that is a very cool key. We did. Look! Look! <laughs> A dragon! Come on, dragon! I mean, maybe don't come on, dragon, because... Oh no, he's hungry. Am I a snack? Am I about to become dragon food? I think I am. Ah, I can see the festivals now, so we've seen death. Hang on, did the dragon just kill George? George? <laughs> Come back, George! In fact, no, don't come back. He was a bit weird. Oh! Oh my god. I haven't even got to Hogwarts yet, guys. This is... Oh, the drama. The drama. Okay, come on, catch it. The key. Get the key. Give me your no, get the key. Oh, yes. Good use of the Accio spell, I must say. I need to learn that, clearly. Squirrel! Oh, it's a red squirrel. Are you right? You're so the hurt. key was a port king. Oh, I'm it's, injured. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. All right, bottoms up, gal. Glug glug glug. Shut 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 shut. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm all back what to happened? health. Poor George. I can't believe he... I do feel a bit sorry what for George. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm Good not sure. question. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Okay, so we're in a cave. I'm well, let's better, sir, have a little browse. Like a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no okay, idea mate. who created this port key, or why. Right, let's follow Fig. Ooh. This ain't Hogwarts. 
there in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The Port Key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that Port Key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. This is giving danger vibes. I don't want to fall off the cliff, but we're going to trust Fig. Mind your step. I shall mind my step. Ah, oh, look at all the plants, like the heather and... Yeah, that is Heather, that's so cute. I've got the porky that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Oh, nearly grabbed onto his ass. Ancient magic? <laughs> yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice to be out in like the world. The castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Let's go. Oh. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Okay. Ooh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. Okay. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. <gasps> Let me use my wand. Center. Ah, okay. Okay, R2 for a basic cast. Let's give it a whirl. Ah, let me prepare myself. <gasps> oh, yes. She's got skills. <laughs> Alright, so use your camera to select. So we use that right stick to select a target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick. Okie dokie settings. Cool. Oh, it's windy. Steady yourself. <laughs> I'm trying, Fig. Repair <gasps> ah! <laughs> that is one of my favourite spells, seeing everything fix itself and come back together and just be repaired. That's so cool. I mean... Yeah, that that resolves the bridge problem, I guess, Fig. Thank you very much, sir. Most appreciated. Almost there. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? <gasps> that music's giving me Fantastic Beast vibes. Look at this place. Wow. Gorgeous. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us to the broken Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Sorry, just having way too much fun with the first time yielding a wand. Okay, okay, we've got a mini map down in the left hand corner. I am the purple arrow, and the yellow is the objective. Okay, so this must be like that enchanted crystallized stone again. Ooh. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Ooh. This feels a bit Ah! Oh! That is Gringotts Wizarding Bank. That is the head goblin's desk. You can tell by the chandeliers and the, the marble pillars and the flooring. How odd. Oh, I'm so excited! Someone have conjured that <laughs> enchanted stone here. And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. Only I can see it. that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin 
son's name. Okay. Godric's heart. Oh, that was a portkey. I don't believe it. Oh, look at this, guys. We're in Grigot. <gasps> Let's have a look up. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is so cool. Is there a goblin there? Oh, is he having a nap? <gasps> wakey, wakey. Hello. Rise and shine. Good morning. <laughs> <clears throat> I need to cough a bit louder, mate. <coughs> nice. <gasps> Someone definitely needs a manicure. Just saying. <laughs> it can't be. Oh, look at him. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> uh, <we're> here. <laughs> Aww. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Thank you. Vault number 12, I presume. Mm. <laughs> Precisely. Yes, definitely. The key? Mm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. <gasps> oh, are we going to get to go on the carts? The green guts, vault carts, get out of here. Oh my god, we. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, this feels really magical. After you. I've always want. Oh my god. I am actually living my best magical life right now. Let's go. Uh, keep your hands inside the carts if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Oh yes. Let's go. Look at all the vaults. Look at all those. Okay, it's one of the OG vaults. That's really cool. Oh. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. I think he got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. Oh, all of the sound effects, like, for the cart and stuff. It's so cool. Oh, another cart. See you, mate. Yeah, it was like reddish. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Until now. <gasps> I'd like to enter my are. vault. Not that it's my vault, but let's go have a little browse. Is this where we're going to get some money? When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Ooh. Until today. Here it is, Vault 12. <gasps> That's so cool! I'm ready to shop at Diagon Alley, to be fair. Thank you for your help. Right, we've got some candles pre-lit. They've got to be enchanted to not melt. 
Righty ho then, Flo, let's go into this vault and see what's in here. Just a massive pile of chocolate what frogs. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm mm. not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Oh, don't do that. Don't... Okay, good. Best of luck. It's a good job I'm not claustrophobic right now. Professor? That was certainly unexpected little bit okay that shimmering is here. definitely a door of some sort mm. Revelia, perhaps. Revelia. yes a revealing charm no time like the present Ooh. let's see what we're missing shall we ready your wand and Ooh, get to learn a spell okay so steady your wand with l guide it along the symbols path to learn the spell press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion okay let's give this a whirl and see how magical i am first try okay oh 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 let's go 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 oh <gasps> Aha! i now know revelio love that let's cast it then there, I saw something. It's true, I Move did. A bit closer and try again. Okay. Let's go. Revelio. Ooh. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I'm not sure I want to go uh, through here, guys. See a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this world. <gasps> this Lead can't be away. good news. Right, let's go. The only way is forward because we're locked in this vault. Oh. Lumos. Oh. Somewhere very dark. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. Oh, I don't Do know. I'm scared. <laughs> Do you think this is some sort of test? I do, but to what end I can't say. Stay close. Uh, there will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay. Yeah, you can't use that kind of magic down here. Okay, um, I'm slightly nervous. I hate the dark and I've just got uh, anxiety that creatures are going to come out of me. But hopefully not. Like, w apart from dragons, there could be a dragon. Not hearing any dragon noises there. I see something up ahead. Oh, yeah. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Fig needs to teach me Lumos. It's not fair that only he can have light. <laughs> right, what is this? Is it dangerous? Am I going to step on it anyway? Yes, I am. Wee! I don't know what that did. Oh. What happened? What is that? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. This is like ice. Are you all right? Ooh. Yes, sir. I'm fine. I need to revelio that. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection. He needs to go to spec savers. Right. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yes, it is. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. It's turning. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. <gasps> yes! Teach me a new spell. Okay, let's go. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Lumos. Yes. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Okay, so we can see the spell sets on the lower right hand side of the screen, uh, which is really cool. Right. Hold R2 and tap to cast or extinguish. Lumos. Well done. Oh, that's cool. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It right. does follow the light. Right, we're going to have to match these uh, reflections up, I'm guessing. Right. Uh-oh. I don't know if he's a nice guy or a bad guy yet. That's giving bad guy vibes. 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Ah. Right. No, thank you. <sighs> I'm stressed. I'm feeling very stressed right now. It's yes, Fig. What a legend. Okay, well, I can do. Oh, I can. Yes, I can attack. Just need to make sure that I do. Ah! Oh no, I didn't use my um protego. I didn't press it in time. Ah! Oh no! Oh, didn't mean to do that, my bad. Haha! -ha. Oh no, there's more of them, guys! There's more of them! Go away! No! Okay! This is intense! <laughs> I haven't even got to the Hogwarts castle yet! Ah! Okay! Right. Okay, they've gone. Okay. Stay close. I'm staying close. Do not disappear on me, mate. Okay. We've done it. We smashed it. Ah! Oh, hang on. I need Lumos. <gasps> Fig, come on now. Professor? It is not a time for hide and seek. Professor, where are you? <sighs> this isn't good. This is not good. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. I'm going to follow whatever these What's fireworks happening? are doing. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I can't believe he just abandoned me like that. It's not very professor of you. Okay, another oh, one of the... Mm. Me. That glow again. I don't want to do it again, because I know what's going to probably happen, but we'll see. Blech. Okay, oh. Oh my god, there's like a million of them. Okay, there's three. Okay, let's whip out Lumos. Oh, I need to Revelio first, Revelio. my bad. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Okay. Okay, so let's Lumos. Lumos. Spin him around. Okay, so he's there. Ah. Okay. Oh, he fell down. Okay. Let's just see what happens if we line them up. Oh, okay, I need to get him to stand. Oh no, they go down. Hmm. I need to align these statues uh -huh. with their reflections. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have oh. to I thought that might be the case. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, gal. Haha. <laughs> Not today, Satan! Ha! Look at that. Who needs fig? <laughs> right, hold triangle during the Protego, so the protection bubble, to stun enemies with a stupefy. I think we have actually been doing that already by accident, but it's good to know that that is the way to do it. Right, oh no, no, no! No! I don't need blue mouse, stop that. <laughs> Get out of here. <gasps> I need to run away from these guys, they're too close. <gasps> okay. Come on, keep slapping them. You got this. Get out of here. No. <laughs> Go away. Why is there more that keep coming? <sighs> Please leave me alone. Aha, he's gone. Right. Whoop. Right, let's get rid of these quickly. Go, go, go. No, he slapped me. Damn it. Okay. Right, get him down. Go, go, go. Okay. Okay. I need to see. I need to see. Right. <laughs> right. Get out of here. Go, go, go. 
protect myself. Okay, we're nearly there. One guy left. Okay, is that it? Is that everyone? Okay, did I do it? Oh my god, I'm out of breath. <laughs> right. Um, Lumos. Okay. Okay, where am I going? I'm following more of these little light things. I wonder what those actually are. Okay, we can sprint. Oh, that is the statue of the symbol. Okay. Okay. I think, guys, I am going to leave episode one here. This has been a really fun start to this game. I'm... <laughs> I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed if I'm being completely honest. It's it's very magical. I feel like I'm on my I feel like I'm in the wizarding world. I feel like I'm at home. I'm sure I'll feel even more at home when we hit Hogwarts Castle. I don't know when we're going to get there. Like when are we going to get to Diagon Alley? When am I going to because I've got a second hand wand at the moment. So I need a wand that's new that's going to choose me. But let's leave it here for now. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you are new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on episode two. Hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Also, if you want to check out the unboxing of this game, which you've not seen yet, go check that out right now. All right, guys, I'm going to go have a break. I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, my God. What a start to my legacy.